everybody, it's Chris again. Welcome back to my channel. The reason why I don't have any makeup on right now is because we are going to do a makeup review, first impressions review of this brand over here, PLK Cosmetics by the very famous and beautiful Ann Curtis. Now, I don't know her personally, so this isn't sponsored, nor is it going to be affected in any way by our relationship. I just really wanted to try these out for you today. I know I'm a bit late in the game, but better late than never, right? I wanted to try these out because I want to see how it compares to the other local brands currently in the market. The tagline is actually Uncomplicated Beauty, and I feel like that is exactly her. She always looks very fresh, very put together, but never too made up. So I feel like this brand is really suited to her and they really did do branding very, very well. All right, so first I want to talk about the packaging. It's very spot on. I feel like it's very millennial. You've got millennial pink over here. You've got the lines and patterns over here and black over here. It's really pretty. I don't know if you get this box when you purchase products from her or if this is a press box, but I really, really like it. In their line, they have seven products total. So this is what you see when you look inside. Ah! So the first product that I want to try out for you guys is this. It is the All Day Powder Matte Foundation. It says that this powder compact can have buildable coverage. So you can go from light to medium to full coverage and it will give you a soft matte finish, obviously, because it's a powder. And it also has SPF 15 and it is infused with anti-aging vitamin E. I love that it's infused with SPF 15 so throughout the day you can just reapply powder and you're already protected. Although I feel like SPF 15 is not enough. So if you wear this, make sure you have a base SPF so that you're protected the whole day. All right, so let's try this out. The one that they sent me is in light beige. Packaging so cute. You open it up and it has a pretty decent mirror over here. And then you have the powder over here and you flip it up. Ooh. And then you have the sponge. It looks a bit orange. It looks a bit darker, my complexion actually, but let's see. Actually matches my skin tone. It looks darker in the pan, but once it hits my face, it's actually the same color. I'm not too sure about getting full coverage out of this. It does look pretty sheer. I can still see the red pigments on my skin. I can still see my freckles. Although this is the first layer, so let's add on to it and see what happens. I feel like it's kind of emphasizing the little bumps that I have on my cheeks here. And I think that's because it is a powder foundation. If you guys have flawless skin, this will probably work for you. Anne Curtis probably has flawless skin. So I'm going in now with my second layer just to see how far the coverage is gonna take you. I moisturized my skin this morning and already here on the sides of my nose, I can see a little cracking and caking. I don't know if you can see this, but over here on the side of my nose, you can still see a lot of the red pigments and you can also see that it's kind of caking and flaky and the color is not evenly applied onto my skin. You can also see my eye bags pretty well here and like you're further defining the wrinkles. And of course, all of my freckles, you can still see. I'm not too sure about this product. I probably wouldn't purchase it myself. But if you guys have perfect skin and you're just in need of a powder, maybe it'll work better for you. All right, so the second thing that I want to try out is this contour blush and highlight palette. Again, the packaging is the same, very consistent. The packaging does not feel cheap and flaky. It actually feels quite sturdy, so I like it. This is in the shade Flushed. So these are the colors that come inside. Contour is this one. Oh, do you see that? <laughs> kind of just fell. There are chunks that just fell out, but uh, maybe it's because I rubbed it too hard with my fingers. This is the highlight. Ooh, I like this highlight. It's so pigmented. And this is the blush. Didn't look too bad. First, I'm gonna go in with the bronzer. Oh, okay. This product has a lot of fallout. As you can see, and daming flakes, so daming powder na nahuhulog. Now, I'm just gonna go in with a light hand because I don't know how strong it is. But I don't see anything. But I need to put more. Maybe I need to get a bigger mirror. So I can see. Or maybe it's because like the base isn't doing well for me. Like it's not a liquid foundation, so hindi ko makapit yung bronzer. Maybe. This really bothers me, this area of my face, because it, it feels so dry. I think I'm not hiyang to powder foundation talaga. I think you need to have like oily skin or like amazing skin to pull off just powder foundation. 
the thing I remember talaga with powder foundation is like in my ballet days and like the makeup artists before would get these powder foundations and then wet the sponge with water and put it on your face and then after you just look so white. That's why like ever since then I've stayed away from powder foundation. It gave me bad memories. Ayan. So the color is actually not bad, but I feel like I need to put a lot of product in order for it to show up on my skin. And I don't know if it's because I've been using powders the whole time. I don't know if it's because like the base isn't so good. So maybe I will try it out again with a liquid foundation under and see how it compares. And I'm taking this blush brush over here from Morphe and I'm just gonna dip that onto the palette. And again, be careful because the fallout is crazy. So tapping the excess and just applying that onto my cheeks. Ah, I like the blush. The blush is actually nice. It's quite pigmented, so go with a light hand. I'm gonna go over my nose to get that beach flushed look. I actually like it. I like the blush. Okay, now I'm moving on to the highlighter. Okay, the highlighter is not bad. But again, I feel like it would be better if I had a better base so that all the products would sort of cling onto your skin. You know what I mean? I feel like my face is just so dry because of the powder foundation. So all of the powder that I'm putting on top of it is, isn't gonna stay on. So I'm not so sure about it being long lasting but the color of this palette is actually not bad. So I'm gonna put a little highlighter onto my nose bridge. I'm gonna put a little highlighter onto the other side. I feel like if you don't have a great base, but you have a great highlighter, it's really gonna save your look. Because you know a trick that I learned from Kim K <laughs> is if you don't wear any makeup, but you put on highlighter, Parang you're gonna look like you have this certain glow to you, like a natural glow. Because it's just your bare skin, right? And may mga glitters, may mga things that reflect the light. So parang it looks like you're really a glowy person, you're naturally very healthy, your skin's so good, ganyan. Okay, so the color is not bad. I would say it's not as creamy as the highlighters that I'm used to, but I guess for the price, it's okay na. It's really okay na. Alright, next up, I am going for the Brow Sculpting Pencil Duo and this one is in taupe. So it comes in this, there's a pencil on this side and a spoolie on the other side. So the pencil is, oh, I like this! I like this! Oh, that's a lot of product. It is a triangle tip that means on this side, you can precisely draw the brow strokes onto your eyebrows. And on this side, you can easily shade in. And on this other side, you get a pretty short spoolie, which I think is a good thing that they put in so you don't have to reach for a separate brush. The color is perfect. It really matches the color of my eyebrows. It's not too dark, it's not too light. I'm using the thinner end to sort of shape my brows. And then I'm filling it with a thicker end. Then I'm gonna use the spoolie to brush it out. But I definitely like this brow product and I feel like I will repurchase this. Alright guys, we're almost done. Fear not because they only have seven products in their line, right? So the next thing that I'm gonna review is the Long Lasting Liquid Eyeliner and they gave this to me in the shade brown, which is cool because we're going for a natural look today. It comes in this packaging. It has a green band over here, which is kind of confusing because why would they have a green band for a brown color eyeliner? It's kind of weird, but who knows? Maybe they have their own reasons. Oh, this looks very promising because it's actually very pigmented, but it does look like it's leaking already onto my skin. You have to be very careful with this eyeliner. All right, so we're gonna try out this eyeliner on this eye over here. Oh wow, it smudges so fast. And the tip does not really move when you move it. It's hard, it's a hard tip. I don't know, do you guys like it? Probably 50-50 on this, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do the other eye and then get back to you. All right guys, so I've successfully done my right eye. I'm not sure if it's even because I'm so jittery right now. I feel like I've had too much coffee. But anyway, I feel like it's so weird to put on eyeliner 
that's liquid and then you don't put mascara at all i feel like especially with my contact lenses it makes me look a little bit like a cat so i'm gonna go ahead and draw fake eyelashes onto my bottom lashes just to sort of even out the colors and i'm just gonna sort of dot it onto my bottom lash line so that it looks a bit darker all right i feel like this looks a lot better it's a little thing to do but it really helps your look a lot all right so now i am moving into the last three products and if i'm not mistaken they're all lip products so there's a matte lipstick there's a liquid lipstick and there's a velvet lipstick let's go first with the liquid lipstick this one is in the shade sophisticated and i'm going with this one first because it is in the lightest shade so it's the easiest to take out the packaging is actually very very nice i love it so you twist it to open oh this color looks so pretty let's try it out This is the first lipstick. It is the liquid lipstick in Sophisticated and the color is actually really nice. It does feel quite dry on my lips right now. And right after you apply it, it does feel a little bit tacky, but the color is really amazing. And I feel like all liquid lipsticks sort of do feel tacky and dry. So I'm just gonna remove this liquid lipstick so I can try out the rest for you guys. The next one that I'm going to try is the Velvet Lipstick in the shade Classy. It looks kind of like the other one, except it's a little bit darker. And the packaging looks like this, which I think is very, very beautiful. I like how this product applies because it glides on really smoothly. It's velvety as it has promised. It feels good on my lips. It does not smell like anything and it feels great on my lips. All right, so it's time to try out the last one and I'm saving it for the last because it is a matte lipstick and it's going to be a pain to take off. We are gonna go in now with the All Day Intense Matte Lipstick in the shade Brave. Now that really frightens me because I'm not a very adventurous person when it comes to lipstick and brave makes me feel like you have to be brave to try it. So let's try it out. I'm scared already. All right guys, so this is what the color Brave looks like. I feel like it's a very beautiful red. No nonsense, just fuss-free red, and I think it's very pretty. I feel like this is a very Anne Curtis color. I always see her wearing bright, bold red lips. So this seems very her. It is a matte lipstick, but it doesn't feel so dry. So I kind of really like this lipstick, even though I don't wear red lipstick or I don't wear matte lipstick very often, this could be the product that would change my mind because it just feels so good on my lips. And surprisingly, this has got to be my favorite product of the whole line. And that says a lot because I don't really like lipsticks. So, feeling ko this lipstick, okay talaga siya. Alright, so I'm just gonna go through all the products that we talked about again. First was the powder. It doesn't really cover a lot, so when you're looking for coverage or if you have dry, flaky skin, I wouldn't recommend that you use this. And I didn't really like this product as I was applying it, but now that I keep looking at my face, it's growing on me and it really doesn't look that bad. My skin feels matte. It feels very, very light. So I would actually use this with a bit of concealer under and maybe a primer so that it sticks better on my skin. And so the other products that I pile on top of it also would stick better. But if you're like Anne Curtis and you just want uncomplicated beauty, if you just want a sort of everyday look, or if you just want to sort of mattify your face, then this product will actually work for you. The second thing we talked about was the bronzer, highlighter, and blush combo palette. And I do like the colors, but Fallout is a bit intense and I'm gonna have to try it with a better base to see how it compares to my other palettes like that because I'm not so sure how I like it yet. I'm kind of 50-50, although the highlighter is looking pretty good even if my base isn't so great. So the highlighter, I would say, is quite nice. I've realized now that highlighter can really save your look because now my skin sort of looks very fresh even though initially it was really dry and flaky. So I really like the highlighter. Third thing we tried out was the brow pen and I really liked it. It applied so smoothly, glided onto my eyebrows really well. The color is great. Application was easy. It came with a spoolie, so I love it. Five stars for the brow product. Eyeliner, uh, I wasn't so sure about it just because it kind of spread out like little veins. Like once you applied it, it went to all of the little cracks on your skin. 
I don't know if you know what I mean, but um, that's what I felt like when I was using it. Maybe it's also because I'm not really an eyeliner, liquid eyeliner person, so don't take my word for it, but I would probably not purchase the eyeliner again. Liquid lipstick, uh, I liked the color, but I didn't like how it felt on my lips, felt really dry, kind of tacky, it's just not really my thing, so I probably would not purchase this again. Velvet lipstick, I really liked how this felt on my lips, although the color wasn't my favorite, didn't look good on me at all. And last but not the least, the matte lipstick, which really surprised me, it felt so good on my lips, it's what I'm wearing now. It looks matte but does not feel drying at all, and so I guess among the bunch, this would have to be my favorite. Alright guys, that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed my review on the BLK Cosmetics line by Anne Curtis. And if you're watching this, I know you're not, but if you're watching this, thanks so much for sending these products over. Thank you to your team as well. Congratulations on your line and all the work you put out. It's really, really good and you're a role model to so many people. So thank you for being an inspiration to everyone. So again, that is it. If you guys like this video, please don't forget to leave me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, join the fam, and leave a comment down below and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!